is the Nissan LEAF, which is closer in price to the Ioniq Electric. The LEAF starts at $31,545, still $1,500 more than the Ioniq, with an EPA driving range that comes up 17 miles short. That's not so bad, but it won't charge nearly as quickly unless you shell out another $1,700, or choose a higher trim level, to get the 6.6 kW onboard charger. Nissan does offer free public charging for two years in select markets with its no charge to charge program, although most people charge at home, making that less valuable. Plus, the leaf looks like a loaf of bread. Advantage, Hyundai. This could shift, though, as a 200-mile leaf is in the works. Similarly, Hyundai says it is also planning a longer range F. Some potential customers in California might be wooed by Hyundai's unlimited subscription model for the Ionic Electric, the details of which are still in the works. A 36-month lease includes unlimited mileage for a yet unannounced monthly fee, which will depend on the trim level and options selected. Hyundai will provide free scheduled maintenance, as well as replacement of any items that wear out within 50,000 miles, like tires, brakes, and wiper blades. Hyundai will also reimburse the driver for charging for up to 50,000 miles, calculated using average electricity cost per kilowatt hour versus the mileage data gathered through Hyundai Blue Link. For customers, it could be an enticing deal. For the rest of us, it's an interesting experiment to see if it increases EV adoption. The Ionic Electric goes on sale in April, beginning in California, followed by others of states. If you don't live in one of the car's main markets, you can custom order the Ionic through your local dealer, but you might want to make sure they've elected the training to service the Ionic Electric. The Ionic Electric gets a lot right, and its formula could help encourage many holdouts to ditch their tailpipes. This car is easy on the pocketbook and the eyes, offers an industry-beating level of efficiency, and is somehow also a pleasure to drive. Let's hope Hyundai gets comfortable with being an EV brand soon. At least for now, the Ionic Electric's greatest handicap might just be in Hyundai's cautious rollout.